いでよバスターブレイナー Here, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, uh, this is the deck. Um, silly Buster. It's, uh, it's rather silly. So, let's go through every everything card by card. We have two Buster Bladers with one Buster Blader Destruction Swordmaster, which is basically standard. A triple Buster Weld, which is our main normal summon. 
one Dragon Buster, because we don't need additional copies, so three copies of Prologue and two copies of Memories, which is rather standard. Now we're getting to the spice. Double form of Albert with triple Incredible Ecclesias, because Incredible Ecclesia can get us to Albert, and Albert is here to summon one specific fusion. Next, some extra spice with a copy of Melty Cappy and a copy of Squadron. So, why is it here? Melty Caddy is here to get us to Hopia Squadron, and Hopia Squadron is here to summon one of our extra deck Synchro Monsters. I hope you see which one, and also a showcase in the, in the replay. Next is our little Time Lord package with one Maiden and one Gabrion. Maiden is here because we're basically playing in a variant of one axe deck, and it's a level 1 monster that can be special summoned. It's a free extended, and it doesn't lock you into anything unless you use Maiden's on field or engrave effect, which we can use once we link her off, and we can get Gabrion, which is solid defense, and it can shuffle all uh, cards the opponent controls, and then the opponent will draw for every card shuffled into the main deck. And since we're most likely going to use Gabrion on a field full of extra deck monsters, that won't be that many. That's the logic behind Gabrion. Next is our one axis uh, package with uh, the newly limited Jet Synchron, the standard Jester Confit package. One at Hara because it, at Hara is good, but it didn't come up too much, and I just figured that playing uh, Gabrion uh, instead of uh, one of the Atharas would give the deck much more needed defense and some other stuff it might need. Uh, we're also playing two Jack in the hand and Triple War of Dao to get into our one axis monsters. We're playing for hand traps we have Triple Effect Vela, Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Imperm, which I think is kind of standard. We decided to use Effect Vela because we can just search it for our extra deck. We have our only Albus fusion, Albolanatus the Abyss Dragon, which it's very important, it can be summoned by sending the above materials from any monster zone to the graveyard. That means that you can set Fallen of Albaz, send any monster the any dragon monster the opponent controls, and get Albal and Athos on the field. And I would like to remind everybody that uh, Buster Dragon changes every monster on the field into a dragon. So basically, Fallen of Albaz and Albal and Athos become our Cyber Dragon and Chimera Deck Fortress Dragon, which I really like. We're playing two Buster Bladers, because we don't need more and we also have two memories. We're playing one Baron, which we can summon with our Hopia Squadron by using any of our level 8 monsters, like our Balanathus, Buster Blader, Buster Dragon, which is going to be summoned by Prolog and will be destroyed anyway. So this is some additional value that I the thought would be very interesting to have, especially if you have an established Buster Blader board. And this gives you an additional interaction. One Abyss, because it's very standard. One Burlow Savage, because we're very eager to make level 8 synchros. Triple Buster Dragon, because we're not. Uh, one Appaloosa, one Dark, because we do have some Dark Monsters and we can just... Uh, make it rather easily. One Hockey Fibrex, which is rather standard. One Mascarena, because why the fuck not. One Protector World and one Link Revo. So, uh, what do I think about this deck? It's, uh, it's rather hilarious and it costs a shit ton of money. And most of that uh, money is in Baron, in uh, Ecclesia and uh, Balan and Lenathus, which are the newest cards. In the set. And that'll be it for today. So now let's go to the Dex's stats.